Hello guys, welcome to another codingbat.com tutorial. Today we will be doing array 2, half, uh, exercise half 3. The question asks, given an array of ints, return true if the value 3 appears in the array exactly 3 times and no 3s are next to each other. So if we look at the first example, um, we first look through the array and see if there are 3 3s. And if we look, there's one right here, another right here, and a third right here. And it also asks, uh, no threes are next to each other um, right here. And so if we see there's a one in between each of them, so the function will return true. Um, we look at the next um, example. So we'll first see that there are three threes, however, um, the two uh, two of the threes right here are exactly next to each other. So the function will return false. Um, we look at the third example here, and there are three threes. However, these two of these threes are right next to each other, so the function will return false. So um, um, in my opinion, the best way to tackle this problem is by doing it exactly like how we approach the examples, uh, splitting up, splitting up the um, solution by first checking for exactly three threes, and then checking if any of the threes are next to each other. So, we should first uh, create a variable to keep track of how many threes there are in the array. And then we create a for loop that runs through the entire array. And we'll check to see how many threes there are. So if um, nums at i is equal to three, then uh, we will increase threes by one. Uh, now a shortcut here, um, just a quick side note. So if you ever want to increase something by one in Java, um, you can simplify the process by just saying plus plus. That will automatically increase the value of the variable by one for you. And if, it, uh, if you want to increase it by something that is not one, you can do uh, threes plus equals and whatever that value might be, in this case, 1. Um, that also works for minus equals and times equals and divide equals. So we'll just say plus plus for now. And once the for loop ends, we want to see if there are exactly three threes in the array. So if there are not three threes in the array, then we want to uh, return false. So we say if threes does not equal three, then return false. And then now we want to um, check to see if any of the threes are next to each other. So we run through the um, we run through another for loop once again, which will run through the length of the entire integer array. And if so, if a number at i is equal to 3, and a number right next to it is also equal to 3, then we want to return false because we don't want any of the threes to be next to each other. Ooh, we also want to change the number of times the for loop runs and subtract it by one because we have an i plus one here. And if um, all of these conditions are still met, then we want to return true. We test it out and it's all correct.